thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We magnify you. What a wonderful God that you are. What a wonderful Savior that you are. We come humbly in your presence. Our eyes are lifted up to you. Grant us your mercy. Grant us your favor. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's have our seats. Praise the Lord. You know, yes, last Sunday we said where you find faith, you are going to find perseverance. Amen. Mahali ambapo imani iko, eh, kuna kustahimili, kuna kuvumilia, kuna kusubiri. Na tulisema ya kwamba, ayo maneno yote ya kustambamba, ya kukonnected, ya kupamoja. Unapongea juu ya kustahimili, kuna kusubiri. Unapongea juu ya kusubiri, kuna kuvumilia. So kwa kingereza, we have perseverance, we have endurance, we have patience, and those things are connected. Where you find faith, you find perseverance because perseverance is a product of faith. Hawezi kuvumilia kitu kama hauna imani juu ya matarajio mema. Hauna imani juu ya nguvu za mungu. Auna imani juu ya uwezo wa Mungu. Auna imani juu ya neema ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo kustahimili inatokana na imani ambaye mtu ako naye. Abraham alivumilia miaka mingi bila kupata mtoto. Alivumilia, alistahimili. Lakini alistahimili kwa sababu alikuwa na imani. So the Bible says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Kule kumwamini Mungu ndio ilifanya ahesabiwe haki kwamba yeye ni mwenye haki. Bwana sifiwe. Perseverance while we were uh, last Sunday tukifanya definition tukasema it is the act of continuing in a course of action without regard to discouragement opposition or even previous failure ha huh? kustahimili ni lile tendo la kuendelea ha huh? na na action course of action lile jambo ambalo unataka lifanyike ama unalifanya unaendelea nayo bila kujali kuvunjika moyo Without regard to discouragement, pingamizi, opposition, or even previous failure. Maybe you tried that first time. It didn't seem to work. But you are not giving up because you tried that first time and it didn't, it didn't work. To persevere is to go on. It is a con is continuing in a course of action without regard to discouragement, opposition, or even previous failure. Amen. And we also said perseverance is a vital necessity for every child of God. Mutu yeyote yule ameamua kumwamini mungu, kumfuata mungu, kuwa ambaye amepata na fasi ya kuwa mtu wa mungu, mtoto wa mungu, mtumishi wa mungu, lazima ajue ya kwamba hii hali ya kustahimili Lazima it, iko kwa package Iko katika package ya hiyo mwito Praise the Lord And it is vital Not only vital but it is a necessity For every child of God And of course last Sunday we had so many scriptures That we read But today I'm going to add more 
And the ones I'm adding are underlining the fact that ikitu inaitwa perseverance ni amana. Atusemi ati ni very sweet, not really. Atusemi ni kitu raisi kukumbana nae. Lakini tunasema ni kitu ambacho ni hitaji. Lazima liwe. Mwana yesu asipiwe. Mistari ambazo zingine ambazo tulitaja maana siwezi kuzitaja zote. Tulisoma Yakobo mlango wa kwanza mstari wa mbili Blessed is the one who perseveres. Eh? James chapter 1 verse 12. At the people who persevere, it is there on the screen. Blessed is the man who endures temptation. And of course I explained that endurance, patience, perseverance, they go together. When he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Amen. Ukistahimili. Ukistahimili. Basi utapokea taji ya uzima ambaye bwana amewatayarishia wale wanaompenda. Hebrews 10:36 we persevere in order to obtain God's promises. Ili wewe uweze kuhisi na kufikia ahadi za Mungu ina, inabidi mpaka ustahimi. Hebrews, Hebrews 10:36. Watu wa screen buko nyuma. Hebrews 10:36. For you have need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Amen. Ah. <laughs> what do I screen? We've been using NIV. New King James. Eh? You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Praise the Lord. Do I need to preach so hard? You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Amen. And then in Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 4, we are told about the process. And katika your process, to tunambiwa perseverance produces character. We rejoice in suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance. And then in verse 4, in verse 4, perseverance produces character and character produces hope. Amen. Ili karakta yako, hali yako, iwe sawa, iwe na unaweza kukumbana na mambo. You must go through uh, suffering because suffering will produce perseverance and perseverance is going to produce character. Amen. Those are some of the scriptures we read because if I read all of them, pale pale. But I want to bring in new other scriptures. Other scriptures those also underline the importance and the necessity of perseverance. This time let's go to 1st Peter. 1st Peter chapter 1 and we are going to read from verse 6 to 7. Although the verses above are likely important but I don't want you to get lost in the length of the verses. Praise the Lord. 1st Peter chapter 1 and verse 6. Tumeanzia mahali katikati. In this, you know when it says in this, it is referring to the things which are above there. And those things that are above there are things that are related to our new birth. Things that are related to our inheritance. Because in the verses above, the Apostle Peter is talking about God has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
verse 4. And he has called us into an inheritance that can never perish or spoil or fed, but inheritance that is kept in heaven for you. Let's go back to verse 6. So when it is talking about, let's go back to verse 6. When he's talking about in this, he's referring to those things above there. He's talking about new birth. He's talking about new hope. He's talking about inheritance that is kept for us. And he's saying when you consider those things, you greatly rejoice. Though now for a little while you may have to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. Tumeaidiwa na tumefanyiwa maku. Tumezaliwa upia. Tuna matumaini ambaye tumeletewa na kufufuka kwa ke yesu. Tuna urithi which does not fade. Urithi ambaye ina last. Lakini katika haya yote tunafuraia. Na hata wakati tunafuraia tunambiwa though for now for a little while you may have had had to suffer grief in all kinds of trial aliyotupa mungu ni mazuri ni makubwa ni mazito ni manene tunayafurahia lakini hata katika hiyo hali ya kufurahi mpaka tuelewe ya kwamba for a little while you know even when the bible says for a little while it doesn't mean just for a day because as you know the way the Bible says to the Lord 1,000 years is like one day. And one day can also be like a thousand years. So when he talks about for a little while, that little while may mean long. But that long as far as God is concerned may just be a little while. And for a little while you may have to suffer. In a way kukupasa Upitie mateso Grief Unajua mana ya grief Uzuni Amen Uzuni kwa kikuyu ni nini Nekieha Kana neke Nekieha You will suffer grief Kuna vitu zitakuja kwa maisha yako Zitakufanya usikie uchungu Usikie uzuni Kwa sababu utapitia all kinds of trials. Trials ya kila aina. Trials ya kila size. Trials ya kila magnitude. There is joy. What God has done is great. There is wonderful inheritance. There is hope. There is a new birth. And we are celebrating all that. But even as we celebrate, as in this, you greatly rejoice. Though, for now, for a little while, you may have to do what? You may have to suffer. Amen. Ambia jirani kutaseka ni sehemu ya imamu. Wewe najua unangojea kunyakuliwa. Na kuna wale wanataka wanyakuliwe bila kupitia uchungu ya yote. Na tunakwambia haiwezekani. Haiwezeka? Haiwezekani. For a little while you may have to suffer. What are you suffering? What is troubling you now? What is causing you heartache? What is undermining your faith? Kwa sababu hii mambo ya mateso na nini kulingana na adui anazitumia kuandamine imani yako eh? anataka kuharibu imani yako anataka uachilie bwana yesu asifiwe let's go to verse 7 let's go to verse 7 this why have these trials come why have this suffering come these have come so that your faith and this faith of yours 
is of greater worth than gold. Huwezi kulinganisha imani ile umepata katika Yesu na dhahabu. It is of much worth. Ni adhamani sana kuliko dhahabu. Kwa sababu dhahabu is perishing. It perishes even when it is purified by fire. Praise the Lord. But why are you getting all this? You are getting all these things so that your faith, the genuinity, the, the genuinity of your faith may be proved. Praise the Lord. The genuinity of your faith may do what? May be proved. In all this you greatly rejoice. Though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven gen genuineness of your faith, which is greater, of, of greater worth than gold, which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise glory and honor when Jesus is revealed. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, hii mambo ya mateso, iko na kazi inafanya. Nele kazi inafanya ni kwamba, inafanya refining. Inafanya hali ya kukutakasa, kuondoa takataka, kuondoa vitu ambavyo havitakikani. Kwa sababu dhahabu, thamani yake iko katika hali ya kuwa refined. Na kama unataka kurefine dhahabu, unatumia moto. Ndiyo uchafu yeyote ambaye iko ndani ya dhahabu itoke. If dhahabu ibaki ikiwa dhahabu. Sasa Biblia natumia hiyo kama kielelezo ya yale anayotendeka kwa imani yetu. Ati hata imani yetu inapambwa moto. Ina pambo moto ndio itakasike ifike katika hali ambaye iko sawa praise the lord praise the lord so that when jesus comes eh he's going to find glory he's going to find praise and he's going to find a honor through you amen Unajua wakati ibilisi alienda kumjaribu uh, Ayubu Alianza ali, kwanza alimwambia Ayubu ya kwamba huyu mtu aliambia Mungu huyu mtu membariki sana Si mali si watoto si nini eh? na wewe Mungu ume believe ya kwamba anakuamini sana Lakini kama unataka kujua ati anakuamini sana Ebu ondoa hizo mali kwanza Au watoto toa Hizo mali ya konazo ondoa Alafu uone kama bado watakuwa anakuamini eh, that, that was where the trial was Lakini mungu walikuwa na imani na ayubu Kwa sababu tayari walikuwa metebe ya pamoja Na alikuwa najua ya kwamba ayubu atastahimili Atastahimili Ka, Kama ni mali hakuna shida Hata ikiwa ni maisha yake mwenyewe physically hakuna shida So shetani ya limuambia kwenda ufanya kile unataka As long as unamuacha kiwa salama So our faith is of much value than gold but gold is refined by being put in the fire. And so your faith is also going to be refined by being put in the fire. So that the outcome is that you are going to bring glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Praise the Lord. So there is a purpose. There is a purpose why we must persevere. There, must, there is a purpose why we must hold on under difficult situations, under trials, under grief, under suffering. Because all this, as the Bible put it in the verses that we are read, 
perseverance produces what? Character. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Perseverance produces what? Character. Now, let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. And we want to begin from verse 7. Hebrews 12 from verse 7. Uh, this one now puts it so, you know, in a weka blunt, in a weka in a no vile ilivyo. Inanza kwa kusema, endure hardship as discipline. Look at that. Endure hardship as discipline. Wakati unapitia hardship, wakati unapitia mambo magumu, unambiwa ustahimili, uendua. Na wakati unayendua, uyendua ukiona ninjia ya discipline. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as sons. For what son is not disciplined by his father? He, he, hata inaleta hii mambo clear son. Wewe uwezi kuzaa mtoto na upati nidhamu. Lazima utampa nidhamu. Unajua kuna ile miaka hiyo mwaka wewe unajua ile mwaka ulikuwa ukiingia kwa kabat na unakula sukari unakumbuka hiyo <laughs> Mpaka mpaka tukaimba joni joni yes papa eating sugar no papa telling lies no <laughs> but when you are told open your mouth the sugar is in the mouth <laughs> Ulimba hiyo. <laughs> na mtu yule anakula sukari na yule anaiba sukari mpaka shughulikiwe. <laughs> Bana sipiwe. Watoto wakukula sukari mpaka washughuliki. <laughs> Uwezi kumwacha tu mwambie enjoy yourself. Ukitaka kula hiyo kilo moja yote endelea. Unamwambia kula sukari kilo moja. <laughs> Bana Yesu asipiwe. Endure hardship as discipline. Angalia, wewe wacha kutafsiri ayo mambo vibaya. Wacha kutafsiri. Kwa sababu saingine ukipatwa bile unalia. Mungu ni mimi tu meniona. Au jaona wa kristo ingine. Mungine mungu nilikukosea nini. <laughs> what type of cry do you cry wakati mambo ikongumu? Eh? Nilikufanyia nini baba? Eh? Unambiwa wewe, wacha kulia. Endure hardship as discipline. Eh? Alafu unambiwa, God is treating you as sons. What son is not disciplined by his father? Ni mwana yupi ambaye baba yake hampi ni dhamu. Kazi moja ya wababa ni mambo ya ni dhamu. Kue na oda, Kuwe na sheria, kuwe na mambo, hii ya ikubaliki, hii na kubalika. Nazima kuwe na nidhamu, kwa sababu kusipu kuwa na nidhamu, mambo itasambaratika. So God is treating our sons, and because we are his sons, he must discipline us as a father. Praise the Lord. Tuendele, tuendele, kwa sababu wapo kuna mambo mingi. If you are not disciplined, look at that. And everyone undergoes discipline. Wewe unasema utaki discipline. Lakini unambiwa everyone. Ukiingia, wewe ni sehemu ya nyumba ya mungu. Umpaka ujue ya kwamba everybody undergoes what? Discipline. Hakuna wewe utaachwa. Unasema mini liyoko kajuzi, wacha mjezo. Akuna mtu anachwa. <laughs> Everyone undergoes what? Because if you do not undergo discipline, then you are told you are an you are then you are illegitimate children and not true sons. Eh? Unajua unaweza kuishi na mtoto wa mtu kwa nyumba yako na ushindwe vile utampatia discipline kulingana na vile amezoea kule kwao. Mpaka hata wewe unaogopa. Nikimfanya hivi wazazi wake watasema nini? 
Lakini kama ni wako haulizi hiyo swali. Unajua ako hapa na mpaka ni dhambu ifatwe. So the only people who may escape that discipline are children who are not legitimate. Wale ambaye si wako halali. Lakini wale ni wako halali kabisa mpaka wapitie hiyo nidhamu. Praise the Lord. If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are illegitimate children and not true sons. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the world that we are in now, ambaye inaitwa digital, watu hawataki discipline kwa sababu watu wanataka freedom na wanataka kufanya kile wanataka. Na haiwezekani. Kwa sababu tukiachilia hivyo, society itaharibika. Eh? We will have sons and daughters who wataribu kila kitu. When you read the book of Proverbs, many places you will find it saying, My son, hear my voice. Sasa huyo ni mzazi ya naungea. Ba, wewe mtoto wangu, sikia sauti yangu. But how many, what difficulty are we having with our children, our sons and daughters who don't want to listen to us and they don't want to hear us? They think because they know computer more than us. Hakuna kitu tutawambia. Wao wanajua WhatsApp. <laughs> Kama wewe. <laughs> unajua hata mimi ni kona simu na saingine na shindu wakujua nitafaya nini. Ninaenda kwa hawa jamana ya mbeja. Meni nisaidie. <laughs> nisaidie. <laughs> Mbana sipiwe. <laughs> Just the other day, two to three days, there is somebody ambaye amekua akini, akini, akiweka kwa simu yangu vitumbaya. Vitumbaya sana. Very bad. Lakini ya yuko kajua <laughs> mnaanza kufikira kwa hini ni mushirika waika. <laughs> si mushirika waika nisa kwa sababu hiyo nabaya kesi ya Kenya Hiyo namba yake ni I don't know where. Inaanza na plus 91 whatever. Sijui hiyo ni country gani. <laughs> eh? Ati ni India. Imagine somebody from India sending me those crazy terrible. <laughs> so, na zingine ni picha baka inabidi sasa mimi ni ni, ni tupe hizo kwa dustbin. The two people had asked me. So I had to go to my 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 my, my child. How do I block this? <laughs> How do I block this? <laughs> because I don't want to keep on Unajua anatuma kitu ambayo labdo kichikuwa simu yangu alafu angale unashindwa. Hii kitu inafanya nini kwa simu ya pastor? Lakini kumbe ni muenda wazimu. Muenda Mwenda wazimu moja yule ya kwa India. <laughs> na, 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 ile, ile ili ufanya sasa yeye namba yangu ndi ya abate na nitumie, I don't even know. So ilibidi ni ombe musaada. Kujie ni jameni musaidia ni block ikipu. <laughs> Alafu sa ingine alikuwa na nipigia simu, ninaangalia na unao ni ile namba. Nilenza kufikira ndaizi maji. <laughs> ah, mana sipi. <laughs> but let me tell you, let me tell you, and you better listen well. Ato kijua computer na mnagani, you must listen to your father. Ato kijua kublock na baba yako wajui kublock. <laughs> that you must listen to your father. Kwa sababu kile kitu baba yako atakwambia may look like it doesn't max it doesn't matter but I'm telling you it ma it matters Kwa sababu ukishika hiyo baba anakwambia utasaidika maisha yako yote ya mbele Lakini ukifikiria wewe ni digital eh na udigitali 
imekufanya ufikirie sasa baba yako ama mama yako hawaelewi wewe ndio unaelewa umepotea unahitaji kurudishwa kwa barabara you are you are, go, you are getting lost amen whatever you are done or your mom tells you sit down and think about it they are not saying it for fun they are not just saying it for the sake of it wanajua bwana sifiwe kuna mambo wamepitia kuna mambo wameona katika moyo wako wanakutakia mema wanakutakia uzuri so usipuuze kile wanawakwambia na utii bwana sifiwe mimi wabia vijana kuna vijana ambaye saingine they don't care about their parents and i tell them you don't know the situation the, the hardship of not having a father saingine wewe unacheza na baba na ujui maana yake ni kwa sababu wewe uko na moja na ujui kuna wengine hawana na kuna wengine wanateseka kwa hii dunia simply kwa sababu hawana nani? Hawana baba. Most of their suffering. Kuna wale walitaka kusoma hawangesoma baba yuko. Wali, labda walitaka vitu fulani hawangepata kwa sababu baba hakuwa. Baba anaweza kuwa hakuweko kwa sababu labda alifariki. Although pia tunajua wale wa baba tu ambaye labda wameacha nyumba zao wakawa tu ni watu ambaye hawaeleweki but if you have a father who is in the house if you have a father who is born again you have a father who is a believer you have a father who is providing you have a father who is doing his duty kwa nini wewe utaki kumzikiza kwa nini unataka kufata njia zako na mambo yako na unafikiri utaenda wapi kama utaki kusikiza baba yako So he this is telling us that e mambo ya discipline and na hardship haiko tu ati kwa nyumba yetu as human beings itunaambiwa god is dealing with us the same way eh let's go to verse 9 let's go to verse 9 chapter 12 verse 9 In a sema moreover we ha- we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respected them for it how much more should we submit to the father of our spirit and live amen kama vile ikiwa mambo iko sawa nyumbani na watu wanatii baba zao wakijua ya kwamba ni dhabu ile inatoka kwa baba iko na maana Tunaambiwa we have had human fathers and these human fathers they disciplined us and we respected them and if you don't respect them you better start respecting them praise the lord and we are told how much more kama tunakubali nidhamu kutoka kwa baba zetu wa kawaida ya Mungu je ya Mungu je kwa sababu Mungu naye ako na yake yake je So we are being told let us submit to the father of our spirit so that we may do what so that we may live praise the lord Haishi hapo let's go to verse 10 let's go to verse 10 our fathers disciplined us for a little while as they thought best but god disciplines us for our good that we may share in what we share in his holiness praise the lord baba zetu walitupa nidhamu kwa muda kwa njia ile walifikiria inafaa lakini naye mungu anapotupa nidhamu anafanya hivyo kwa weba wetu ili tufanye nini we may share in his holiness amen the final verse no discipline seems pleasant at the time wakati unapewa una 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 unapewa nidham 
wakati unajaribu kusaidiwa it doesn't look pleasant We unataka ukai uangalie television kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni unaambiwa hiyo ni mbaya unataka ulale throughout the night mamuke saa 4 unaambiwa hiyo ni mbaya utaki unaona kama your freedom is being interfered with eh watu wakikuja mezani wa kule pamoja we utaki kula na wao unakaa kivyako Unakula vitu ambazo hata ustahili kukula na ukiambiwa utaki. Kwa nini? <laughs> Uliza jirani kwa nini? Although of course uh, najua wengi hapa mnakaa hapa ni wazazi. Maybe this message was more for for the youth. Eh? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No discipline seems pleasant at the time. Wakati ambapo mambo ya nidhamu inataka kuwa enforced, haikaagi kama ni rahisi na ni tamu. Eh? Inaka kama iko painful. But later on, ukikubali, ukishika, it is going to produce a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by by it amen bwana yesu asifiwe watu mpaka wapasivia kama wewe ni mwana mwana chuo unapoambiwa sasa maana baba analipa pesa kuna cases ambayo wa baba wamelipa pesa ikapotea bure unafikiria mtu anaenda shule mtu anaenda tu kwa raha zake eh Wewe well, unafikiri jamaa ameenda shule au kwenda shule? Ameenda tu raha zake. Hata hiyo mambo ya fiza naona kama hii ni bure. Eh? Lakini uki, ukifuata nidhamu, ukifuata nidhamu, mwisho wake utapata ile inaitwa harvest of of righteousness. Eh? And you get peace, you be trained Whatever you are being told to do you thought it's like for your father it's not for your father it, it is yours Amen Na yule atarip yule atafaidika yule atainuliwa yule atasaidika ni we ni wewe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Eh sasa We are talking <laughs> we are talking mambo ya kawaida but indeed the real truth is we are talking mambo ya kiro mambo ya kiro we are also saying just the way fathers deal with their sons that way god also deals with that because the bible says god doesn't want us to look like illegitimate children ataki tukae kama watoto wa tabia mbaya eh ataki kuwa na watoto ambao wa korofi ataki kuwa na watoto wale hawasikii anataka kuwa na watoto wale wanaelewa si ndivyo watoto ambaye hata wakienda mahali anaweza kuletewa reporter said ambiwe your son is a good person amen asiletewe na mambo bovu bovu haya if you have beef with me tutaonana baada ya ibada <laughs> but there is another reason there is there is also another reason why we must persevere there is another reason and uh, this one we are going to get it from two verses the first one that i want us to look at is romans chapter 8 verse 18 romans chapter 8 verse 18 This this is another reason why we should persevere. Eh? Look at the way the man of God Paul is saying, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed. Praise the Lord. Eh? Paul 
mtu ambaye ametembea na Mungu mtu ambaye amemtumikia Mungu mtu ambaye amepitia ukisoma like second corinthians ambaye ni kama biography yake anakuambia vile mateso ile alibidia kuna wakati alitupiwa mawe kuna wakati alipewa mijeledi ile ya wayahudi 40 minus 1 39 wanakupiga viboko 39 awafikishi 40 alitandikwa anasema ameona njaa amekuwa kwa shipwreck amenusurika kifo mara nyingi lakini anasema akiwa amejua siri za Mungu na siri za mbinguni anasema i consider that our present suffering is not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed amen kile paul anasema ni kwamba mpango ile mungu wako naye utukufu ile mungu amepanga makubwa yale mungu amepanga ni mazito mazito mno ambaye haiwezi kulinganishwa na mateso ile unateseka hapa duniani and it, is, it doesn't matter what that suffering is eh? our present suffering in fact he's saying it is not worth hata usianze kujaribu kulinganisha kwa sababu haistahili it is not worth usianze kulinganisha mateso yako ya sasa na utukufu ile Mungu amefanya nini ile Mungu ameanda kwa sababu hiyo utukufu ambaye Mungu ameandaa ni kubwa. It is so great. Eh? It is not worth comparing with the glory that will, will be revealed. When we consider what God has for us, what God is planning for us. Then we should not even be troubled by the little suffering that we are going through bana yesu asifiwe bana yesu asifiwe second corinthians chapter 4 from verse 16 eh second corinthians chapter 4 beginning from verse 16 ah uh, This is what it says therefore we do not lose heart. Unajua hiyo we don't lose heart it means we are ready to persevere. We are not giving up. Hatuachili. Eh? Though outwardly we are wasting away yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Katika mambo ya nje mambo yanaweza kuwa kama I came mzuri. <clears throat> you know outwardly we are wasting. Eh? Watu wanazeeka. Uh, as the Bible says kinacho mwanzo uh, as they say kinacho mwanzo kina mwisho. Vitu vinaendelea kuchakaa. The other time katika mazungumzo nilikuwa na, nasema Watumishi wa Mungu wale wazito wazito kama kina Billy Graham wamehubiri wamehubiria mabilion lakini walizeeka na wakafa Mtu anaitwa T.L. Osborne mtu ambaye alikuwa na imani ingine ambaye si ya kawaida amehubiri duniani kote amezeeka akafa Mtu anaitwa Maurice Serulo <coughs> mtu aliye na alikuwa na upako mzito sana amezeeka akafa kule 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 Nigeria kuna mhubiri anaitwa Benson Idahosa anapewa heshima mpaka siku ya leo alikuwa anaweza kutaja kitu ama aseme neno katika jina la Mungu na taifa yote itatembeke Idahosa alikufa So tunaweza kuhubiri na tutetemeshe na tufanye mambo lakini ukweli ya mambo ni kwamba at the end of the day utazeeka na ufe. Labda Mungu amue ataki uzeeke akuchukue vile alichukua Enoch ama vile alichukua Elia. 
So when Paul is talking things like we are wasting away, he's just saying because we are in this earth, eh, things cannot continue the way we are thinking. But even if the outward is wasting away, the inside is being, is being renewed. Praise the Lord. Verse 16, verse 17. Our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that outweighs all of them. Eh? Izi shida ambazo kwako zimekuwa nzito sana na ngumu sana. Paul anaziita at their light. Na anaziita they are just momentary troubles. Ambia jirani shida zako ni momentary. <laughs> Aki kuambia yu ni mnyamagani. <laughs> Mwambia ni ya muda. Inamandisha ya muda. <laughs> eh? These troubles. Oh, nimekosa hii. Oh, sina hii. Oh, hii ya ijafanyika. Oh, sijapata hii. Oh, sijue nini. Oh, we look at them and sometimes they are like Mount Kilimanjaro. Eh? But the man of God is saying, these are just light and momentary things. But he's saying these, these things that we are going through, they are achieving for us. They are working for us an eternal glory that outweighs all of them. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majaribu hayo, mateso hayo, masumbufu hayo. Chochote ambacho kiko ambacho kina kusumbua kule ndani. Hata kama unafikiria ni nzito sana. Sio nzito. It is light. Na haita kami lele. It is momentary. But it is working something that is eternal. Something ambayo uzito yake haiwezi kulinganishwa na hiyo ushida uko nae. It is because of that reason that you have to persevere. Amen? Okay, ukifikiria kile ambacho mungu wa meanda, kile ambacho mungu wa mepanga, kile ambacho mungu wa mekusudia, ukisomba ufunuo ishirina moja, hakutakuwa na kilio, hakutakuwa na maumivu, hakutakuwa na uchungu, hakutakuwa na kifo tena. Kwa sababu mambo ya kwanza yamepita na yote yamekuwa nini? Yamekuwa mapya. Praise the Lord. Eh, hey, katika Wakorintho Paul anasema There is a time when the perishable will put on the imperishable. And the mortal will put on the immortal. Mungu amepanga kwamba kuna wakati kinachoharibika kitachukua kutokuharibika na kinachokufa kitachukua kutoku kutokufa Sasa hizo ndizo vitu Paul anafikiria na kisifikiria anajaribu atikulinganisha na zile shida unapitia na naona those problems they are just they are just uh, light they are just momentary because they are light and they are momentary, why can't you persevere them? Kwa nini uwezi kuzivumilia? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Umesha soma Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2 to 5. Eh? Mungu wa kizungumuzia wana wa Israeli. Alikuwa na lengo gani alipo wapitisha kule jangwani Biaka harubaine eh? Umesoma hiyo Have you read that? <laughs> Although I need, to, I need to wind up Let's go to Deuteronomy 8, 22 eh, Kumbu kumbu la torati eh? Remember how the Lord your God led you All the way in the desert These 40 years Kumbuka, hame kuongoza hizi miaka rubaine. Na hali kuongoza kwa nini? To humble you, to test you, 
in order to know what is in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandment. Wakati mmetembea na Mungu hapa jangwani hizo miaka 40, ame ame amefanya hii mambo yote to humble you, to test you, to know what is in your heart. Eh? Verse 3. He humbled you causing you to hunger and then feeding you with manna which neither you nor your fathers are known to teach you that man does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Eh? Amekuweka ukose maji alafu akakuletea maji. Amekuweka ukose chakula alafu akakuletea chakula ati amefanya hizo vitu zote ili ujue ya kama mwanadamu haishi kwa mkate peke yake lakini kwa kila neno litokalo kwa kinywa cha nani cha Mungu verse 4 your clothes did not wear out ati hao watu huko jangwani hata nguo zao hazikuchaka your feet did not swell during those 40 years verse 5 Know then in your heart that as a man disciplines his son so the Lord your God disciplines you. Tunarudi pale kwa nidani. Ukifikiria hayo mambo yote ujue kama vile baba anapatia nidhamu mtoto wake hata Mungu mpaka akupatie nini? Mpaka akupatie nidhamu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How do we finish this? Tumalize hii. Eh inabidi tumalize. Na nafikiri kwa sababu nime deal na hii topic for two Sundays that at least eh, it has sunk and you have realized eh, how important it is that people are able to persevere. Praise the Lord. I have other verses Psalm 66 verse 10 to 12 God tests and refines us to bring us to a place of abundance. Eh? Mungu anatujaribu, anaturefine ili atulete mahali pa wingi. Eh? For you O oh God tested us, you refined us like silver. Verse 11. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. Yeah? Verse 12. You let my men ride over our heads. We went through the fire and the water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. Amen. Imagine this of it huyo mtu anasema. Go back to verse 10. Go back to verse 10. You God tested us. You refined us like silver. 11. You brought us into prison. Kuna wakati mwingine unaingia mahali na ni kama uko katika gereza. And you laid burdens on our back. Unakaa kama umebeba mizigo zingine mizito sana. Eh? Verse 12. You let men ride over our heads. We went through the fire and the water, but you brought us to a place of Abundance. Praise the Lord. Maybe go also and read Psalm 71 verse 20 to 21. Verse 20 to 21, Psalm 71. <clears throat> so in conclusion, we must persevere because perseverance molds us. Lazima tustahimili na tuvumilie kwa sababu kule kustahimili na kuvumilia inatuunda si ndivyo inatutengeneza so that we can be good children of God number two. God has great promises wonderful promises things that he has planned for us we must persevere so that we may attain those promises unataka kuwa na uzima wa milele itabidi uvumilie. Amen. 
Unataka kufika enzi hiyo ambayo hakuna machozi, hakuna kilio, hakuna kifo, hakuna maumivu, hakuna nini kwa sababu hayo ndio Mungu amepanga lazima uvumilie. Eh? I want to give you the final verse, a very good verse that everybody that likes. Uh, Psalms 126 verse 5 to 6. Let's read that as a final verse. Sije kama watu wa screen wamefunga. Mumefunga, mumefunga kabla ibada ijaisha. Mumefunga kabla ibada ijaisha. Psalms 126 verse 5 and 6. Ninaona kama hiyo yao inachelewa, si ndio? kwa sababu yao inachelewa acha tupungue zetu Those who sow Those who sow with the tears will reap with the songs of joy Amen Wapandao kwa machozi watavuna kwa furaha <laughs> Amen Those who go out weeping and carrying seed to sow will return with the sons of joy, carrying sheaves with them. Wale wanapanda kwa machozi, watavuna kwa fura, kwa fura. That is just another way of saying, you are going through tough times, but you have faith in God. Keep on doing it. Because at the end of the day, you are going to reap. Eh? And you are going to reap with joy. Uliza jirani, umepata? Eh? Umepata hiyo? Wale wanapanda kwa machozi, watavuna kwa? Uraha. So, usisumbuke. Deo kwa sababu tumeambiwa ya kwamba, Those light and, and uh, momentary problems are working for us. Eternal what? Eternal glory. Mateso hayo tu ambaye unaona kama umechoka nazo na zinakusumbua. They are working out uh, eternal what? Glory. Ya uzito. Which far outweighs them. Ikuna uzito ambaye uwezi kulinganisha na hizo shida ambazo ulikuwa nazo praise the lord we would go on but time does not allow let's stand up praise the lord let me give you one or two minutes just to confess about this message about the perseverance we give you glory lord we give you glory we magnify your name we stand before you We understand, we understand now that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what is challenging us. It doesn't matter what is facing us. It doesn't matter what we are struggling with. It doesn't matter. We are seeing your hand. We are seeing your hand in everything. No wonder your word says that all things work together for good to those who love you who are called according to your purpose, you have not left us. Romans 8 says, if God is for us, who can be against us? It says that those who call, you call, you justified, and those whom you justified, you glorified. And it also says that it doesn't matter what we face, we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Through you, Jesus Christ, who saved us, who called us to eternal inheritance and eternal glory, we give you praise, Lord. We will stand strong. We will persevere in your name. We will endure in your name. We will remain patient. You say in your word, be still and know that I am God. We are going to be still. Because we know that you are God. You will not leave us according to your promise. 
you will be with us even to the end of the ages. My Lord and my God, give strength to the weak, give hope to the hopeless, encourage those who are downhearted. Everlasting Father, we thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. You say you shall not leave us as orphans. You will come to us. You will stand with us. You will walk with us. You will do great things in our life. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We glorify your name. Just lift up your right hand as we conclude in prayer. In the name of Jesus. Father, you know everyone. You know what they are going through. You know where they are passing. You know what is challenging them. But you say, greater is you that is in us than he that is in the world. With you on our side, we are victors. I pray in the name of Jesus, let them get victory. Let them get victory in the name of Jesus. Let them overcome in the name of Jesus. Let them run and not get tired. Let them move forward and not get tired. Because you are preparing something greater than whatever the challenge may be. Father, we thank you. We thank you because you are doing much more than we ask or even think. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah, let's give him a hand of applause. Thank you.